Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can probably see, I've got the E60 halfway up on the lift, and that's purely because today we're gonna to be changing the brakes and the brake pads on this car. Now I have already had the wheels off because I've re the control arms that wasn't talked up when I actually done all the new ones prior to this shop being built, which I've done on the quick jack so I couldn't actually get it up where I use my transmission jack to pull it at ride height and then torque the bolts down, which only took, you know, five minutes each side, which are now all done. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna remove all the brakes and I'm gonna show you how to actually change them on a BMW 60. Now bear in mind, I actually changed these when I first got the car, but they're not actually worn. I'm just changing them because obviously as many of you guys know, I wanna overhaul everything on this car. So I just thought it made sense to overhaul all the brakes on this car. Now I did use these same ones on my E63 on the 630i. And these have been really, really good brakes. I tell you what, they have probably the best stopping distance and extreme stopping power when actually needed. These are MTEC brakes. These are drilled and grooved. They use Mintex brake pads and the drilled and grooved discs really, really do help the stopping distance on these cars. And I've not had no issues with them on the E63. When I want them to stop, they come to a stop like you've got six pot calipers on them. They're absolutely incredible and brilliant. And that's the reason why I'm using the same ones on this car. Now, MTech did agree to send me these for the Z60. They didn't send me them for the E63. The reason they offered to send them to me is because they realized I was ordering two, and they asked me what it was I was needing it for and how many of these cars I actually had. When I actually told them I actually have three of them, they agreed to let me do a video with their product, showing you guys how to install them, and obviously fitting them to the C60 because I needed them anyway, and it was something I was gonna buy regardless they send them or didn't, because I needed to overhaul the brakes, and you'll see here they're all badly rusted. When I get up on the lift, you'll see why they have to come off on the brake pads too. So no more talking, let's get onto this video and let's start, get onto the next part of restoring this black BMW E60. Goddamn, get it done, will you? When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. So here we are, guys. Now I'm not going to put the car all the way up in the air because it's not needed because I need it really at my height to be able to do the brakes. And I also want you guys to be able to see as well where I'm not pointing the camera up in the air. So um, as you can see, these are the brakes, and you can see how badly rusted these brake discs are. You can see all the flaking coming off. They're just corroded, they need to be changed. The brake pads are still in good nick. Um, they've got a lot of life left, to say the least, but I do want them off. You can see I've already took out the locking bolt for the holding. So you can already see I've took out the bolt holding the disc onto the actual um, hub itself, which I took that out because as many of you guys know, they're a pain to get out. On my E63, one of them had been drilled out because nobody managed to get it out. And obviously you can cross thread them because the Allen key bolts, do remember when you put the Allen key socket on to bang them into place before you actually release them. Now I haven't done anything else on the car because I wanted to do it on video, but you can see here, this is what we're gonna be targeting. Calipers off, carrier off, brake disc off, um, brake pads back on, caliper back on, and obviously this back on and just redo it all. I will be showing you the disc we're gonna be using, but we're gonna get these off first. Now these are the bolts you're gonna to need to get off, which screw right into here, which hold the, um, as I said, the brake disc onto the hub. And you're gonna need a six mil Allen key bit to be able to remove them. Make sure you do tap them on because they will not hold on properly. Sometimes they can be seasoned there, sometimes a bit rusted. So just bang them with a hammer and then just turn them and they should come through. Remember to hold the brake disc with a screwdriver, push it in the caliper, push it in one of the venting grills on top of the brake discs before you actually start turning it because otherwise the disc will just spin. So do make sure to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go behind and release the slide pins on here. So I need to bang it down to get the slide pin out. And you can see slide pins coming out. Now we got that off, we can then release the other one. Now the bottom one. So I'm actually using a seven mil Allen key bolt to remove the slide pins out of the um, caliper to get them out and you need a seven mil Allen key bolt to actually remove them. Now on the top one, you are gonna need to use an extension because obviously, it like this is not going to reach so you need to put an extension on and be able to release the top one now the top one the bottom one did come out quite easy and i'm thinking the top one's going to come out quite easy as well which it is and now they're out now what i'm gonna have to do is disconnect the brake pad wear sensor now most of the time you can get these out without breaking them um, most other times you can't and you will need to replace these or hardwire them I'm just going to take out brake pad wear sensor just like that. And you can see there, that's the magnetic coil that you need to press back in. And it should be all right to, 
use again because it hasn't triggered. Now we just need to remove this, just like that, and that will come off. And you can see there guys, that's the caliper off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick that up here because I don't wanna stress the brake caliper while I take out everything else. And you can see these pads ain't exactly worn. That's very, very rusty. So that's why I'm changing them. Now for the carrier bolt, you're gonna need a 19 mil socket and you're gonna need a breaker bar because these are torqued up. So you're gonna to need to break the torque. Just like that. So once you break them free, you'll be able to just unloosen them. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just support the carrier on the spring up here with cable ties. I think it should work just so it doesn't go anywhere. So we don't stress the brake lines. See now the carrier is off and so is this brake disc. So now I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to try and clear up this area because you can see a lot of rust and corrosion coming off, um, which I expected. Uh, clean out this ring and just give it a good clean down because obviously before I put the new disc on, I want it to, you know, sit properly and sit flush and not cause any issues. So I'm gonna clear it all up. Okay guys, so we're just gonna put our bolt back in, which many of you guys saw. I'm gonna put the brake holding bolt back in so it locks in, so it stops turning around. Just like that. And that will hold it in place for you. And now what we can do is put our carrier bracket back on. So we'll just put our carrier. Just tighten up our carrier bolts. Now for the caliper, we are gonna have to press the piston back. Just have to cut that tire now, just like that, so it can come down to me. And we are gonna have to press the piston back with a piston tool. You just need a piston press or some kind of other tool just to press the piston back into place, all the way back so you can get the new pads in because you won't be able to get the new pads in unless you do that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Make sure you get one of these tools before you even start this job because otherwise you will not be putting your new brake pads in. There is other ways of doing it, of course, um, but this is the best way. So here's our new brake pads. So we're just gonna slot them in, just like that. Like that. And then, just like that. They've got closing clip. They've got locking clips, so you can't mix them up. Now that's done, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my screwdriver in the vent just to tighten up this bolt and that's all tight you don't want to over tighten it because otherwise you'll never get it off the next time then you want to put your bracket back on so just like this and there we are guys that's one side done i'm going to go ahead and do the other side now which is my driver's side and then we'll move on to the rears so let me just complete the other side and the driver's side and then we'll show you on the rears how to do that as well. Okay guys, so now we're on the rear side and obviously the rears are much easier than the fronts. So obviously we're just gonna take this caliper holding clip bracket off. It can be a bit stiff to get off. And that's purely because of all the debris off the road and rust. Just like that, that's off now. Now what we'll go ahead and do is just release our bolts. Very simple to do, same size as the front. Just drop them out. So one out, so then we'll just do the glass one at the top here. As that's done, you just want to do that, which is just push something in the middle to break them free, and the caliper should come out, just like that. Just like that, very simply. And hook the old brake pads. Put your carrier up there, take the old brake pads out. Brake disc, I've already got the bolt off. We need to remove the carrier. And bear in mind, it's only a tiny carrier compared to the front ones. You can see how much dirt and corrosion 
There is coming off this car where it's been sitting. Let's have a bolt out and the carrier off. Now we need to get the brake disc off, so we're gonna have to whack that off a bit. So you could see how seized the brakes were. There was a lot of corrosion around them. I am gonna have to spray it all down because there's too much corrosion on the brakes. But this is what I would expect from obviously sitting for so long. You see that it all comes off. Just like that. All the brake shoes as well. They're just, everything's been sitting for too long. Now we do have the new brake disc to go on. Hopefully it just goes on, which it does perfectly. And obviously because of the handbrake shoes, it holds it on perfectly. So we'll just put the bolt back in, to hold it in place. Now we have got our new brake pads here and these ones actually come with shims on the back to obviously stop any, um, you know, noise coming through the brakes or anything like they do sometimes. So we're just we're gonna fix these on to the brakes itself. And they've got them on both of them. So you have to put the shims on and we'll just stick the brake pads in to this position. Put that up here while we put the carrier back on. Now that's the carrier back on. Now what we can do, and now we'll just put our pad in here, just like that. And then we can just literally slide our new one on. And that's the slide pins back on. Now we're just gonna put the carrier bracket back on here to hold, obviously, the ca uh, caliper so it don't start sliding around. Just like that, that's now on. So now that's that side done, guys, and it'll be the same on the other side to complete the other side doing the brakes as well. Okay, guys, so as you've seen, they have now completed the brake overhaul on this black BMW E60. Now, that's another job complete out of the other 100 we've still got to do. We've still got the transmission fluid service coming up. We've still got the diff service coming up. We've still got to clean this car up properly. I've still got to fit the new door on it. We've still got to do the LCI conversion. There is loads to do and still loads to go. And I really hope you guys are actually enjoying this series. I did say, on one of the previous videos, the budget for this car is £6,000. Now I'm already in this car at £1,200 already with the brakes, all the parts that I've already bought for the transmission service, LCI conversion, the lot, and we can keep going. Money is no option to get this car back to tip top condition, because as I said to you, I want it stored in my workshop. I am looking for someone who can do full detailing, who can come here and completely detail this car. And if that's you and you are watching this video, I'd be interested in hearing from you because I do want someone around who can spend a good few hours actually detailing this car and bring it up to perfect condition after I'm completely finished with overhauling everything mechanically on it. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed the series and thank you very much for watching. I know the brake job wasn't very in depth as many of you would have liked, but you got to see the brakes being changed on this car. And as I did say to you, they were sent to me by MTech. They sent them to me after sending them to me for my E63 when I actually purchased them. And the brakes are actually great. If you guys want them, just type them in on Google or on eBay and you'll sure be able to find them. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.